What's up you guys? Nathan Bell here doing another DC Comics Multiverse review on Aquaman from Batman v Superman. Scored this guy at Walmart. They also had Nightmare Batman, which I do plan on picking up and doing a review on. Now, before we get into the figure, let's just take a quick look at the accessories that he came with. Aquaman comes with his warped, unpainted trident. What a bummer, man. Disappointing. This really brings the figure down. But then if you look at the uh, the grapnel hooks that will eventually go to the blaster, look at the paint difference, man. They just couldn't throw some, you know, silver paint and maybe a little couple, you know, black washed in there. Just look at the difference night and day, man. That's just so disappointing to me. Does have some nice, you know, sculpted work at the end of the trident there for the handle. Looks that looks okay, and then just you can see it's a little warped. I might uh, I'll probably just either put hot water, heat that up, and just warp that back, bend it a little bit. I made it look a little better. And there's the end of the trident. Well, I'm not even gonna say what those look like, man. Um, I think we all know what those look like, so I'm not gonna bring that up. Then the hooks look pretty cool, though. Like I said, they are articulated, um, and I do like the wash in there. They use some pretty sweet silver paint, makes it pop. Just want to do another side by side. Very disappointing, man. Very disappointing. Now let's get into Aquaman, and I really do like this figure. Look at that face sculpt. I, I don't think it's identical to the actor, but I think it's one of the best DC multiverse, like for Mattel, face sculpts they've ever done. There was a couple I found at the store where the mustache just wasn't together. It was just uh, the, the flesh tone of the face, and that was a little bit of a bummer because those did... Um, the paint was better on those. There wasn't, you know, if you can see some, like, little dots right there. They didn't have any, any, uh, have any of those on the figure, so I thought that was pretty cool. But I couldn't I couldn't do the whole missing part of his mustache thing, man. Look at that beard, though. You see some, like, lighter brown highlights. Same thing with the hair. Very cool, man. That's very cool that Mattel did that. You know, instead of leaving it that flat brown color. Because if you do see, you know, some photos of the actor as Aquaman, he's got, like, these wild-ass dreads that have some really nice highlights in there. You can see also I was missing part of his eyebrow. Then you got the cool tribal tattoo going throughout the figure. That's actually really clean on there. I don't really see any parts that are really mispainted or anything. Everything's very clean. I like I really like the metallic olive color for his pants. And that tribal pattern conti uh, continues right in his pants. Very cool. You got the Aquaman symbol on the belt, which I don't think has any paint on there. I'm trying to get a little closer, but I'm not. It might have some black in there because you can see some sculpted lines but I'm really not seeing any paint. The gold is very vibrant. I really like the gold a lot, and I really like the designs in the gold. The patterns, the shoes are also cool. No pack holes at the bottom. There's a look at the back. That tribal continues on his butt right there, on his thighs. There's his pouch. Looking very nice with all that detailed work. This dude's just detailed out with the, you know, the gold plates on him. And then right in here, you can see how it's got like the straps in there kind of. Let me see if I can fix my lighting. You can see the straps in there, and I don't know if that uh, is a... Uh, you can see the black. I don't know if that's tattoos or they just wanted to fill that all in with black for the for the you know the ropes in there to tighten his gauntlets. I'm not entirely sure. But the other side, you can see how that's filled in. So those might be tattoos. I'm not entirely sure, but if you do know, please tell me in the comments below. See the straps go underneath. That's kind of like a green color, more or less green. It looks green in person. It it's, it looks kind of brown on camera. I like his shoulder pad a lot. That's also got some pretty serious detail in there. Pretty cool figure, man. I do dig it. The strap on the back, I don't really... That looks like a strap or a holster for something. I'm not entirely sure. You could actually, actually if you really wanted to, let me just grab the uh, the trident. You could actually probably fit that right in the back because that's not really a hard plastic. Eh, that's not going to work, man, without damaging the figure. So that's a little bit of a bummer. That would have been pretty cool to fit that right in. You know, have it poke out of the side kind of like this. If I can just get him like that. That looks pretty cool, man. I like that. But, uh, yeah, man, thumbs up for this figure. I actually do like it. Mattel did actually a very nice job. I mean, besides the articulation, which I will get into, uh, the sculpt work is actually very nice. Let's get into some quick articulation with this guy. So his head cannot look up, and it cannot look down either, and it can barely move side to side. His arm can go up about that far. It can move forward. He has a single-jointed elbow, but also has a swivel on it. Um, did I say bicep swivel? He also has one of those too. I, I don't think I said it. And then he does have a wrist swivel. There's no ab crunch or waist swivel. Mattel, what are you doing, man? That is just not good. His leg can kick up about that far and it can move backwards. He has above the knee swivel followed by a single jointed knee. His foot can kick up about that far. It can go back and there is no ankle pivot. Here is Aquaman next to Superman and Aquaman is a little bit taller than Superman, and look at that skin tone on Supes, man. It looks like he just got back from the beach because he's looking pretty tan. Look at him compared to Aquaman. I feel like Aquaman should be just a little bit darker than Superman. I, I just don't like that at all. 
And here he is next to Armored Batman, and Armored Batman is taller than Aquaman. And I gotta say, I think this Aquaman is my favorite figure from the wave. I know the articulation is kind of junk, but I do like the sculpt and the paint apps on it. I also forgot to mention that uh, he can almost do the full splits, and I also forgot to note that his hands are actually pretty tiny, man. Uh, I don't really like that at all. Look at that hand. That just looks really small to me, right? That looks like a like uh, Deadpool's hand, you know, when, when, he, when he gets it chopped off. That just looks ridiculous. Well, he chops it off himself, but uh, look at that, man. Looks like he's trying to, like, uh, hitchhike or something, man. You know, 15 miles to the Erie Canal. That's my review, guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, please hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.